Today's mnemonic is about Clostridium welchii. In the picture, you can see a cluster of wells. A cluster of wells should remind you of Clostridium welchii. So Clostridium welchii is also known as Clostridium perfringens. So you can see a meat here which is perforated by the bone. So from the word perforate, perfringens. We'll come to the story about the meat later on. Now these wells are blue in color and sort of elongated which denotes that it is a gram positive bacilli. You can also see that these wells have a cap or lid like thing. So remember that Clostridium welchii is capsulated. Also wells are fixed to a certain place so these are also non-motile. This capsulated and non-motile is a very important morphological feature because it is an exception in the genus of Clostridium. Most other species are uh, motile and non-capsulated. You know why these wells are blue in color? Because actually these are biogas plants and that's why they have been covered to produce anaerobic conditions. So from that remember that the Clostridium genus is actually anaerobes. Now the cow dung that is fed into these biogas plants is obtained by these rescued cows. Why rescued? Because they have been rescued from the meat factory you can see behind them. So that's why there is a meat sign above. From the meat, remember Robertson's cooked meat broth, which is used as media for Clostridium welchii. Also, you can see a tint of blood on the sign. So blood agar is also used as a media. So from the meat sign, Robertson's cooked meat broth and blood agar. The biogas plants has been specifically used in this pygmonic because Clostridium welchii causes gas gangrene. Also, the meat factory was closed because the meat produced here caused food poisoning. So, food poisoning is another disease caused by Clostridium welchii. The cow dunk in this area has led to increased fertility of the soil and has led to the growth of alpha alpha sprouts here. The sprouts a reminder of spores so clostridium welchii and all other clostridiums are spore forming bacteria also i'm referring to alpha alpha sprouts specifically because alpha toxin is the most important toxin produced by antigenic types of clostridium welchii in addition to all this these cows are also helping in production of milk so the milk tumbler signifies litmus milk test which is a biochemical reaction used for identification of Clostridium welchii. In litmus milk test, Clostridium welchii produces stormy fermentation. Around the tumbler, you can see a nagar or a serpent, which signifies Nagler reaction, which is another test used for identification of Clostridium welchii. That's it for today's video. Do let me know if you like my content by a like, comment and share. And if you want to stay for more content like this, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Thank you for watching.